We are on the Beck property that we purchased last year from Lisa Beck and her family. And uh, this is 113 acres of extremely special land. One of the reasons it's special is because we're surrounded by protected land. Um, we've got Yellow Mountain Preserve that the Nature Conservancy owns and, and manages with us um, over here. And then sloping down from there is Roaring Creek Valley, uh, one of the most scenic valleys in America, according to Backpacker Magazine. And if you look in the distance, there's Table Rock, and behind it that we can't see today because of the clouds is Mount Mitchell. Um, so on a clear day, there's extremely long scenic views. And then as you sort of pan over to the right here, we're getting into the highlands of Rhone, um, Pisgah National Forest, and then on the Tennessee side, Cherokee National Forest. Um, Rhone is one of the most biodiverse regions in the state and in the country. This is where we grew up. This is how we learn to appreciate nature. We learned to sit and watch for deer, for hawk, for even bear. Had many, many family picnics. Our cattle summer he summered here for 50, 60 years. Took them back and forth to Plumtree. And the most wonderful thing is it will never be developed. It is preserved. And we are very proud to say that we did sell to Southern Appalachian Highlands. And Melissa and Ashley, and I have some of these pictures. If you want copies of them, I can give them to you. We would love to add it to the history. Of if the you want to add project. some things to the history. Yeah. Um, when you're four years old and you're climbing this rock, it's like it's, it's enormous. It's enormous. You're the king of the mountain. Mm -hmm. So we're to climb the rock and jump off the rock and mm -hmm. play and run around. And the cooking was done in front of this rock, of a series of two rocks because you could build a fire mm -hmm. in between and it wouldn't, it wasn't going to spread. Mm -hmm. So it was, I can't tell you how many breakfasts, which is the best breakfast you will ever eat, has been had <laughs> up here, either down there or right here. Mm -hmm. We walked our cattle mm -hmm. anywhere from 50 to 105 head from Plum Tree to the mountain every year and walked them back, did a cattle drive. They summered here, and okay. they wintered in Plum Tree. Okay. Wintering in Plum Tree was because we could get to them, because the snows that we used to have here, you couldn't get. You, it was impossible. And this property is so unique and special because of its wildlife habitat. Um, we have we're standing in the middle of some classic golden wing warbler meadow, and we also have wild trout creeks here on Elk Hollow Branch, and. Um, outstanding beauty and <laughs>